Ghana has scored another first in the West Africa sub-region for being the first country to, to convert its telecommunication antenna into Radio Astronomy Observatory. The Radio Astronomy located at Kuntunse on the Nsawam Highway was constructed with support from South Africa and this is expected to help improve scientific research. The Environment Minister's conference comes on the heels of a move by Ghana to join the world of astronomers. In 2011, Ghana decided to convert the telecom antenna at Kuntunse on the Nsawam Highway that was built in the 70s into Radio Astronomy Observatory. This led to the creation of Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute within the premises of atomic energy at Kwabenya in Accra. The move has helped in building the capacity of about 67 Ghanaians in astronomy and today, through the support of a South African institution, Square Kilometre Array, Ghana has become the first country in West Africa to have a radio astronomy. The development came in handy and the meeting of environment ministers from nine countries in West Africa provided an opportunity for Ghana to share her experience with her peers. The meeting expressed appreciation for the progress in the development of the AVN project, particularly with Ghana being the first of the eight partner countries to complete the conversion of a communications antenna into a functioning radio telescope. According to research, radio telescopes naturally produce large quantities of data the Minister of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Frimpon Boateng, was of the view that Ghana has to step up efforts in developing the capacity to manufacture spare parts, machine parts and components to build and maintain simple technologies. The so-called local content or local participation should not just refer to local cheap labor and low-level scale activities but she also involved high-tech and high-end managerial skills as well. I wish to remind all the engineers, scientists, technicians, astronomers, computer scientists to be conscious of these facts. The Minister of Science and Technology of South Africa, Madame Grace Naledi Pando, said scientists should make it a point to ensure the smooth transfer of technology and innovation. We are absolutely pleased that for the first time we've been able to attract a wide diversity of talent to the SKA project. I well remember when we were launching the Radio Observatory Initiative in Kuntusi, we met a young PhD student who'd come back from the United States because he wanted to participate in this initiative. So what initiatives like this do, they offer us brain gain when we have lost a lot of our talent because there aren't projects that they can get their teeth into. So projects such as this bring our talent back home. The meeting brought together ministers and representatives of environment, science, technology and innovation from Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, Madagascar, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia and Zambia. Beatrice Sanaju, GPC 24, Accra.